Hi everyone, welcome to the next video in this series from Rita Berman's Summer Walk book. We are got we have got quite a few um nice florals to do today, so let's make an immediate start coming in nice and close as close as we can without chopping off half the page. I'm going to start with this really large flower here in the centre. Now I'm looking at this and thinking, is it the same as this one? Are they a pair? I'm not sure. It look, they do look like they could be. I'm going to ponder that while I colour. I'm going to do this one red. I want a really um, deep sort of red to start with. I think I'm going to use the evil red. It's a good colour, isn't it? Is that dragon? Is that that one? And that's the Shiraz. There it is. Evil red from the dragon set. It's quite a dark but slightly pinkish red, I think. And I'm going to start in the middle here and go around this center. We're going to do the center after, like this, and go out towards these um, seats. I'm guessing they are like that. And then I'm going to do a bit of this here, but we're going to start to fade it here. Because I'm going to use another colour as well. There we go. It's the same on each of the petals. Don't worry too much if you go over onto these seeds because they're going to be dark. So they're going to be black actually. So, well, if you colour the same as me. So it will pretty much cover any little over the line type things that you do by mistake. It should all be good. There we go. I'm also trying to decide whether to do those two the same as the orange one at the bottom, but maybe I'll do it orange but just not try and be do it exactly the same. I can hear water running. I'm confused. Maybe one of the children has gone upstairs. I don't know. Now my next colour is going to be watermelon. This is the black from the Black Widow set. Again, it's a red, but it's a sort of pinky red. I think it will work well with this one. I'm going to go over the top of everything. And then fade it out towards the edge. And hope it sort of brings it all together, really. It does look quite pink, doesn't it? That's okay. We've got a pink here, but it's really different. So we might put in something really scarlety as well. We'll see how it all goes. I've got yeah, those took these. I know what I'm doing with these, so that'll be my next bit. So just going over the top and a lighter bit here. Yeah, my husband went to his uncle's funeral yesterday. He really enjoyed um, being able to see his cousins. His uncle was 80-something, quite poorly, um, and had various different health issues. Um, what should we use? I think we'll use the Midnight. You can use any black, really. This is from the skin tones, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to sharpen it. Um, but yeah, he caught up with various people. He said it was rather embarrassing because quite a lot of the older gentlemen there who had been friends with his uncle since his sort of young school days um, had um, dated my husband's mother. Um, he said it felt like there was a sort of bunch of them who used to just pass their sisters around each other. And he said it felt rather awkward meeting people who went, oh yes, I dated your mother. <laughs> that was a bit odd. But anyway, he he, he uh, was fine with it really. Um, his mother's passed away. He said he did have, uh, he, he noticed his father being approached by people going, oh, how's, how's your wife? And oh, unfortunately, no longer with us. But um, luckily, um, husband's father has a companion um, so he is happy um, I'm just trying to find a sort of purpley colour but I'm going to go with amethyst 
because I want to do something different to what we did at, um, in our first video when we did the flowers at the bottom. Oh, loud train. It nearly made me jump. And I'm going to do these circular ones. Um, yes, yeah, so he said it was a little bit awkward, but his father's sort of used to it. And the sort of saying, oh, you know, unfortunately. But they were all oh, sorry. And they said, oh, I'm OK. I've got a new companion now. You know, he was he did obviously went through a, uh, a difficult stage. But uh, he's, uh, he's busier now than he ever has been, I think. Because his, he's got lots of friends. And family and so is his companion so they're always out and about visiting people or they're also very they like going places so they're either at the theatre or they go to their local cinema and watch ballets and um, Royal Shakespeare Company productions and things like that which are live broadcasted out to cinemas and things and they have got a very good theatre near where they live anyway, um, which is a lot of Shakespeare. I was going to do that one in the same colour as this. No, I haven't. Hmm. Oh, well. We'll do it differently. You think, you know, it's a matter. Um, it'll be more colourful then, won't it? Um, and they also go on little holidays. They go on um, sort of walks, stately homes visits, all that sort of thing together and uh, you know generally are seeing the country basically um, enjoying themselves which is fantastic we're so happy it means we never get to see them because they're always somewhere doing something with somebody so <laughs> but you know we want them to be happy of course now I'm looking at colours. I want some bright orange to be honest because I think it's going to add some vibrancy because these are quite pale. So I'm going to do these in bright oranges like I did the first one. I'm pointing like this one. <laughs> but I'm going to not try and make it identical. I'm just going to grab some oranges and see what happens. I'm going to start with the darkest one I think. I know that I didn't use this one before so I'm just going to use it. You can do it the same if you want. I'm going to use the pumpkin. And I'm going to use it on the base of the petals, like this. I'll just do some gentle fun, keeping it the same, like that. So yes, it's really lovely. And uh, my parents are the same, really. They aren't mega busy, but... Um, on one day a week my dad plays badminton and my mum goes and sees her friend then one day a week my dad does music with a friend my dad plays saxophone and sometimes keyboards and his friend i think it's guitar i think anyway they do that and then my dad also goes to bridge then on weekends they and one day in the week they quite often see my nieces um, as well. I really um, should see more of them. It's tricky. So I always feel like I've got so much to do and whew, but uh, we'll see. I really feel like I should be making more time for them but uh, it's tricky. I've got my family are hard work sometimes. Ooh. Right. Um, I am going to use the gold dust to do the ends of the petals. This is from the dragon set. Yeah, the tricky thing is when the children are at, um, are at uni, um, well, my one son, I don't like leaving him alone because of his health so if he's at home then I need to be with him so that I can um, um, keep an eye on him and if he's not at home then I'm sort of catching up with my jobs as well 
That centre is quite pale compared to the one we did on the other one. I'm going to darken it up slightly. Um, what should I use? This one might work. This is the Serpent. A name for a pencil. That's a bit better. It's not that dark, is it? Mm. Um, so it's 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 really quite tricky. But uh, now it's holidays, I thought I might see them more. But it's sort of turned out that I haven't. I'm going to make these two. Um, hmm. I've got lots of pinks, reds. What are we missing? We're sort of missing blues, but. I, could, I might do some blue up here because the shoe's obviously blue. Um, maybe I could do a a really deep purple or a light. Um, hmm, yellow? No, I don't think they look the right type of flowers to be yellow. Is that silly? <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm going to go for a really deep purpley colour. Um, we have the... I think I'm going to go for the... Uh, where is it? I turn the pick, turn it over. The grape. There it is. My grape's quite small. My cobra set are really quite small. Now I'm going to put down intense colour here so that it looks different to this one up here. So I'm just going to really layer it down. There we go. And then I'm going to use the space, which is another cobra colour. If you like purples, cobra's got nice to do these dots. Like that. Now, these two. Um, let's have a think. Um, it's because we haven't got any green. I think it looks a bit, the colours look a bit too samey. And this pink one. I'm going to do a pink one up here. How are we doing for time? Got loads. Okay, pink, 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 pink. Um, let's go with the rosy, the dragon. Um, there it is. Rosy. And I think this, I can't decide, this one. And then it all look quite similar to this one, I think. And I might, in fact, do these black like these. But we're seeing um, my parents this week, which is nice. And um, I might invite them down a little bit. I think partly my husband's been... We sort of had... It feels like we've... The holidays have flown by. I think part they were on holiday, so I couldn't see them. And uh, this is fiddly. Need to sharpen it. Um, I'm trying to put a sort of more layers in this middle bit around these. But it's quite fiddly. That's why I sharpened. It's better. But they yes, they were on holiday, and. Uh, then husband's been off work, so yeah, it's been, but time seems to have just suddenly, you know how it just disappears. There we go. So we'll do black. Um, I used to say midnight just because I happen to have it out here to do these. If you don't want to do them black, you can do them any colour you wish. There we go. Now, this one, I'm going to do blue. 
I'm going to try and pick a completely different shade of blue to what I've been doing for the boots. So we could go lighter. Hmm. Let's go Starry Night. Where's that? Where's that cross? Um, do Starry Night first, which is a dark blue. But not too hard and fade it off like this. And then I'm going to put in quite a pale one. There we are. And I am thinking, what did I see? Picasso Sky. The Starry Night, by the way, was the um, um, was is a bl Black Widow. This is a dragon. Picasso Sky. And it's quite a pale tone, but it's going to try and mix it in with what we've done already. So you can get a sort of faded edge. It's more of a grey blue, isn't it? Quite like these blues. This type of blue. Now the centre I'm going to do with a bit of yellow, I think. Yellow and blue always looks nice together, I feel. Let's have a look. We've got lots of yellows to pick from. I'm thinking the mellow yellow. It's a good name, isn't it? The mellow yellow is a dragon. A bit of a tongue twister, isn't it? Mellow yellow. It's really bright. There we go. Now, I'm having a little think about the leaves. Do we do them all the same? And I'm thinking, yes, I'd quite like them to tie together. So I need to think of some sort of colour that will work with all of our flowers. And the colour that we used for the right hand leaf bit on is a good one, but we're not going to go exactly the same. Um, I'm thinking we could probably use Sapphire and Cicada. Let's just find them in my box. Where's the... That's quite dark. Where are they? They are near the really pale ones. That's Lime Fruit Zombie. No. Maybe they're here. There's the super. There they are. Right. Sorry about that. So the sapphire is a monarch pencil, and I'm going to use that for the stems and the base of the leaves, and then finish it off with the cicada. And we're going to do that all in today's video. We haven't got long left. Time-wise, I'm just going to go over because, well, I, mean, I know you don't really mind. Um, I had been trying to keep these to about 20 minutes, but um, then we can come back and finish it tomorrow and do the the butterfly in the background and get it done. So I think otherwise the video lengths might be a little bit weird. Let's do that stem. I think that is a bit of that stem, but I might be wrong. Sometimes you have to make a bit of a judgment about the drawing and what's what and take a bit of a risk with your colours. See that bit should be blue. Uh, what did I use? Blue Horizon. Is that it? Yeah. So a bit of Blue Horizon, you may not have missed this bit like me in there. Okay, back to our green. So I'm just fading it towards the tip of the leaves. It's something that takes a bit of practice 
I can't say I'm an expert, I just have a go and I am improving. Now I'm a bit confused by this because you've got a pointy bit here. Where does it start? I've got no idea. So I'm going to do this bit first and think about that in a minute. I wonder how I did that before. Maybe it starts here. Let's just put it there. <laughs> I don't know. I've got a big gap here. I see how it looks at the end. See whether it looks terribly odd or not. And I've got all these little circles, oh my voice, around here. I'm probably going to do those in glitter or something to give it a sort of magical look. Oh, don't do the butterfly. That was my thinking for that. Now, yeah, that's done. I th if we do it all the same colour, it's quite quick. So here's our cicada, um, which is the um, from the um, spider set. And I'm going to do all the dips with this. It's not going to take too long. Just sort of blend it all up. These blend nicely. Especially on this paper. I like Rita Berman's paper in her books. I've never heard anyone complain about it, which is interesting. Whereas there's quite a few books where I've heard people complain. Um, even Johanna Bassford's books, people have complained about. I think the more recent paper and her original paper wasn't good, but... Uh, she learnt and changed her paper but I think her most recent paper in the USA book she used um, the stuff that Kirby Roseanne uses and pe some people really didn't like it which was interesting but I don't know if she's continued to use that or not in her um, I just don't know but people do often ask me what paper is like in various books and I have to be clear with them that paper isn't always the same depends on where you buy your book um, so if I like it I'm saying this is nice paper this is the um, German edition of the book I think it's the only um, edition but there might be different papers you know right so that is me for today um, I didn't go that much over so tomorrow we will finish this off we will do the butterfly and then something with the background it it won't be anything too complicated but um for today thank you for watching um i hope that you have a lovely day and happy coloring